Hi, I'm Simeon Huang and welcome to Learning Qt 5 by Pact Publishing. I have been a full stack developer for a few years and I'm very passionate about the UI and the UX, as well as the latest open source technologies. This course will consist of a complete overview of Learning Qt 5, including what can be accomplished with it. Our exploration of Learning Qt 5 will include enhancing command line applications with Qt, C++ GUI programming with Qt, and the declarative Qt Quick application development. This video provides you with a glimpse of the entire course. This video consists of nine sections. In the first section, you will learn how to enrich your command line applications with Qt framework while learning the architecture. For example, command line options parsing is very common and useful for console applications. And we're going to cover this in this section. Then in the second section, we will talk about multi-threading and multi-processing, the difference between them and what Qt has offered to make using multiple threads and process easy. Writing a worker class and offloading heavy job into a separate thread to improve your application. In the world of internet, it's almost inevitable to do some network programming. Hence, in the section 3, you'll learn how network programming in Qt works. For example, we're going to build a TCP server and a TCP client. And we're going to show you how easy it is to let them work in Qt. In the section 4, we will learn important knowledge about Qt GUI programming, such as signals and slots. It is the bedrock of asynchronous and GUI programming in Qt. Then we will learn all different kinds of widgets in the fifth section. We will further advance our knowledge GUI programming in the section 6, including the crucial concept, models and views. Surely it also means GUI widgets like table and list will be covered. From the section 7 on, we will enter the world of Qt Quick and QML. The fundamental knowledge will be covered first. You will also get to learn the declarative way of building a GUI application. Then in the section 8, we will talk about the architecture of QML and its relationship with JavaScript and how easy it is to import a JavaScript resource file in QML and make use of it. In the last section, Qt Quick is covered so that we can make elegant GUI applications in a rapid and declarative fashion. This includes different styles and the animations. In this video course, any prior knowledge about Qt is not required. You should be familiar with C++, but you don't have to be a master. Knowledge about JavaScript would be preferred, but it is not required. Since Qt is a cross-platform framework, it means you can learn this course on either Windows, Mac, or Linux. By the end of this course, you will have a good understanding of the Qt architecture, be able to enhance your console applications, and create cross-platform Qt GUI applications, and also write modern dynamic GUI applications declaratively with Qt Quick.